The aloe vera plant has recently become a household name. Claims surrounding its benefits range anywhere from aiding in wound healing to curing or slowing cancer. We see these claims constantly in the media, telling us that incorporating aloe vera into our routines could result in significant benefits. But what exactly is aloe vera? And is there really any literature supporting these claims? Aloe vera is a cactus-like plant that grows in hot, dry climates. It has fleshy, spear-like leaves with thorny edges. The outside of these leaves, known as the sheath, surrounds the gel and pulp on the inside. The gel is most commonly used for therapeutic purposes, while the outside sheath produces a very bitter yellow sap. The inner portion of this plant contains 98.5 to 99.5% water, and the remaining percentages are composed of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, sugars, and other organic components. Aloe vera has reportedly been used for cosmetic and medicinal purposes for millennia. Evidence of its use in a pharmaceutical manner in ancient Mesopotamia dates it back to 1750 BC, and its beneficial properties are still embraced today. This video will explore the evidence behind some of the most significant claims made about this plant. The claims we will be discussing are the effects of aloe vera on wound healing, acne, weight loss, and diabetes. Perhaps the most significant claim of aloe vera is its ability to heal wounds such as burns. But how true is this? Well, it appears that this claim is true, as aloe vera is indeed beneficial in treating burn wounds. A review article looking at four different studies with 371 patients found that treating wounds with aloe vera decreased healing time by almost nine days. Let's take a look at another study of aloe vera on burn wounds. In this study, 27 patients with burn wounds had half of their burns covered with gauze and Vaseline and the other half covered with gauze and aloe vera gel. Within 14 days, most burns treated with the aloe vera gel were fully healed. Aloe vera treatment has an average healing time of about 12 days, while treatment without aloe vera took about 18 days to heal. Aloe vera specifically helps by reducing inflammation and causing earlier formation of the top layer of your skin. Here is an image of a burn patient's hand prior to treatment, and here is a picture of the hand just 9 days after treatment. You can clearly see the beneficial effects of aloe vera when comparing these two regions. Aloe vera has also been claimed to help with acne. As we mentioned earlier, aloe vera has been shown to aid in wound healing. This does apply to acne, as acne wounds have been shown to heal faster with the application of aloe vera. Additionally, aloe vera has been shown to have antibacterial properties, and because a lot of acne is induced by bacteria, aloe vera appears to be beneficial in this regard. However, acne also involves inducing the production of certain inflammatory molecules. Studies assessing this have found that aloe vera fails to inhibit the production of these molecules, and thus is an ineffective treatment in the prevention of new breakouts. Therefore, aloe vera is beneficial in the healing of existing breakouts, but it does not appear to aid in the prevention of future breakouts. The media has also promoted the use of aloe vera for aiding in weight loss. Despite this, there is very little scientific literature that looks at the effects of aloe vera on weight loss. A study in rats showed that there is decrease in overall weight and body fat when aloe vera was administered for 90 days. Although the rats did lose weight, the data was not significant, meaning that these results could be due to chance. Additionally, the study was done in rats and has not been replicated in humans. Therefore, we cannot conclude that aloe vera would cause weight loss in humans. Claims have also been made stating that aloe vera can help manage diabetes. Specifically, aloe vera has been claimed to have anti-diabetic effects for people with type 2 diabetes. Studies done in both animals and in humans have shown that aloe vera has been able to decrease blood sugar levels as well as fasting blood sugar levels. The exact mechanism that causes aloe vera to decrease these blood sugars has not yet been discovered. Although the studies did show that aloe vera has these anti-diabetic effects, there are limitations to these studies and more research needs to be done in order to make a conclusion. Although aloe vera does have many beneficial properties, it may also cause adverse effects when it is ingested. Individuals that consume aloe vera orally should be aware of the effects it has on the gastrointestinal tract, which can be significant with prolonged use. Aloe vera may also cause laxative effects, electrolyte imbalances, dehydration, diarrhea, 
and increased risk of colorectal cancers. Pregnant individuals are advised not to consume aloe vera due to the possibility of uterine contractions. If aloe vera is consumed when breastfeeding, it may also cause gastrointestinal distress in infants. Lastly, aloe vera can interact with medications. This includes synthetic insulin drugs, such as insulin Lispro, or anti-diabetic drugs, such as sinagliptin. In summary, the media has made many claims about the benefits of aloe vera. This video examined the evidence behind the roles of aloe vera in wound healing, acne, weight loss, and diabetes. Additionally, we discussed the negative consequences of aloe vera, including its effects on the gastrointestinal tract and in pregnancy. We strongly recommend that you consult your physician prior to incorporating aloe vera into your routine.